guys it is Danny and welcome to this update video on the tropics and so guys in this video we're going to be talking about our two invests so we have that one that is going to be moving into the US later today that is invest 96 L and then out in the Atlantic midway between the Windward Islands and the coast of Africa is invest 95 L and so 95 L is now highlighted in orange which means that the chance has risen so has our other disturbance 96 L the chance is high enough for it to develop so are we going to be having tropical storm Danny and is that disturbance in the Atlantic going to acquire the name Elsa and so guys before I go into details with these systems <laughs> Alright guys, and so let us first kickstart things with our Invest 96 L. And so as you're seeing, at this time it is given a high 70% chance of developing into a tropical cyclone during the next 5 days. And so it actually has just today because later today it's going to be moving inland. But the system is looking quite well on satellite imagery. We definitely have that center of rotation even though we have most of the shower and thunderstorm activity going off to the west of the center of the system. It is looking fairly well in terms of rotation guys and so with this continued trend we're likely to have a tropical storm just before it moves inland and the next name to be used is Danny but again it is not guaranteed to become a tropical storm and so it is possible that advisories will be initiated later this morning along portions of the southeastern US coast and so if that is the case I'll make a short update video just for that to give you the latest to know who is under a watch or warning and what is anticipated from the system but regardless of development it is going to result in a quite a few inches of rainfall and so guys please ensure that you're not in a flood prone area which means that your area is likely to be inundated when it rains heavily and just stay prepared and stay safe guys so do not downplay the system because it might not be strong we don't need a strong tropical cyclone to result in serious impacts and so guys now we're going to be moving on to our invest 95 L and let us talk about it so with this time the chance is now at 40% so finally an increase since about a few days ago when the chance uh, has risen to 30% and was quite stagnant for a while guys so now here we have the chance being increased for this thing here to develop and some of our models are showing maybe a depression at the most or probably weak tropical storm developing but conditions won't be entirely favorable to completely support the system to intensify into something quite significant but we cannot outrule the possibility Possibilities. And so, if you're in the Lesser Antilles, you are going to be feeling some impacts from the system that could potentially be life-threatening. And so, let us take a look at the satellite imagery of the system here. And so, here we have it. Uh, last night, this thing was looking quite compact, but now it's looking a little bit more disorganized. So, it is going to be making its way across and it's going to be encountering some unfavorable conditions. But we're expecting that there is the chance that it could actually get itself together and achieve tropical cyclone status and the next name to be used after Danny is Elsa but remember that 96 L is not guaranteed to become Danny and this thing here is not guaranteed to develop so it all depends on which develops first uh, that is going to be, be how they acquire their names guys and so in terms of the model intensity guidance for or invest 95 L here we're having our models here so most of them are expecting it will achieve tropical storm status and to expect a hurricane one expecting a cat to end personally i don't think that it is likely that we will have a hurricane developing from the system i think the most we will have is it achieving tropical storm status guys and so in terms of the potential track we don't have a whole lot of models available but they're all expecting that this thing will in fact go over the lesser Antilles and into the eastern caribbean might move up to the north and affect the Bahamas or it could even move across the Caribbean is what some models are showing and so we're going to be taking a look at a few model runs the GFS Euro CMC and Icon to see what they are anticipating during the next five days for this system here and is there going to be another system after that and so guys now let us go into that so first up is GFS and so this is Tuesday the 29th of the month and so there we have that 1014 millibar system which is invest 95 l making its way westward and let's go on to wednesday the 30th of june and so there we have all that moisture spreading across the lesser entities so if you're in the lesser entities by the midweek you can expect some increment weather conditions from 95 l so fortunately it might not develop 
Note that I say it might not develop into a tropical cyclone, but regardless, you're going to feel some impacts from the system, guys. So please ensure that you're prepared as though there is going to be a tropical storm making its way across your area. As I said for 96L, do not downplay the system because it is not strong. It does not need to be strong to cause some significant damage. And the good side of it is that it is moving relatively quickly, so it's not going to be hanging around for a very long time. And so guys, now let us go on to Saturday, the 3rd of June. We see that most of the moisture is now spreading across portions of the North Caribbean. And out in the Atlantic, a bit low latitude, there is probably a tropical wave right in that region that is trying to develop. And so let us go further. And this is by Monday, the 5th of July. And there we have a 1006 millibar low pressure system just to the east of the Windward Islands. And so that is potentially a tropical storm that the GFS model is showing here. And so let us go on further to Thursday the 8th. And we don't see anything much becoming of that system, but that moisture has spread across most of the Caribbean, guys. And so now let us go on to Euro. And this is Wednesday the 30th of June. And so there we have 95L. And just to the southeast of 95L is another tropical wave. And so let us go further. This is Friday the 2nd of July. And there we have 95L now being south of Dominican Republic and then that other wave now developing and so going to Saturday we see that that other wave is now making its way across the Eastern Caribbean and so now let's go on to CMC so we're seeing a trend now of us having maybe two tropical systems developing about during the next week or so guys and so now here we have CMC model and this is Wednesday the 30th of June there we have that 1012 millibar low pressure system which is 95L and going further out we see that by Friday the 2nd of July we have that system being south of Haiti and that other wave trying to develop so so far all of our models are agreeing on a second wave that might develop just after 95L and so later on Friday we see that the moisture from that system from 95L is now spreading across Jamaica and then that other wave just to the east of the Windward Islands. And so going to Sunday the 4th of July, the model is showing something very interesting for the future of the system here. So it's showing it making landfall on the Yucatan Peninsula, but by Thursday of that week, we see that it is showing a 997 millibar low pressure system in the Gulf of Mexico, most likely going to make landfall along the Gulf Coast. And I would say this is quite an interesting prediction that the CMC is showing right here. And uh, it is not impossible, but we really have to wait and see what is going to be happening because in reality, we can't really say what is going to really become of 95L if it does cross into the Caribbean and if it is going to be making its way into the Gulf because all we need is just minimal amounts of dry air and favorable shear because the ocean temperatures in the Gulf are already so favorable guys so if we have favorable conditions even if it is for a short amount of time and the system emerges into the Gulf it could intensify but again guys it is not even guaranteed to develop on the way to the Caribbean or in the Caribbean guys so we really have to wait and see what's going to be happening and then finally let us take a look at the icon model and so this is Wednesday the 30th of June so it is showing 95L approaching the Lesser Antilles and then going to the second on Friday we see that 95L is making its way across the Eastern Caribbean and then by Saturday it is showing the system maybe the remnants of it making their way over Jamaica guys and then showing something a little bit interesting quite a bit of increased moisture in the vicinity of the Windward Islands which could be as a result of that second wave and so guys we really have to just wait and see what the outcome of or invests is going to be and so guys that is really it for this update video on the tropics as i said if there is the need that i make another update video later this morning on 96 l if advisories are being initiated i will do so guys and so that is it for this update and if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can also share your thoughts in the comments or ask a question i will try to respond as best and as soon as i can and just remember to always weather wise and of course i'll keep you updated as time goes by